All right then. What well, we the first day up here in 2018, 5th of January. Um, obviously the storm was a few days ago. So really don't know what's been damaged up here, but we'll have a little look around. Um, today's video is gonna be a bit of a, uh, a uh, review on my Christmas present, which we'll uh, show you shortly. Uh, but let's have a little, just quick look around. Uh, greenhouse looks okay. Well, we had a bit of glass that was broken there anyway. I've still yet to cover that. Um, that comes off anyway uh, in a slight breeze. So I've just got to work out where to secure that. And what I was more worried about was the roof. So, oh, yeah. So we've lost, we've lost something there. Um, so I'll have to have a uh, little look around and uh, try and recover that. But um, the polythene's all still down. Um, okay, looks like my compost bin has gone. I secure it in the corner over there. We're gonna have a look for that in a minute. It might have blown away. Uh, garlic's come up. Look at that now, since the last video. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a little quick look down here. Make sure I don't trip over. Old Ike looks like he's got worse for wear. Uh, how that's still standing, I do not know. Uh, some might be in your eyes, but in my eyes it is. Uh, but he's lost all the windows. Okay, so what did Santa bring me? Da -da, da -da, da -da. There we go. So we've got a, uh, a rotavator. Uh, it's a uh, Hyundai 139cc four-stroke. Um, yeah, looks really nice. It's not too heavy. It's what's 30, 31 kilograms, dry weight. So it's a little bit more now. It's got petrol and oil in it. Um, really simple to uh, to build. Just straight out of the box. Um, it's got what I call uh, man instructions that you can just throw them away and work out to do yourself because it's just attaching these handles on, putting the screw in there, screws in there. Uh, the only minus side of it that I've found so far is getting in the car. Um, obviously we've only got a normal hatchback and we can't get it in with the handles up and uh, the handles don't fold so you've got to completely remove them each time which is uh, seven bolts which is no drama but i thought that i might be able to just leave them two in take them four out just take that one out slide it up and it fold forward but it doesn't that's as far as that goes up so you've got to completely remove it which is a which is a pain because these are these are quite awkward to put on on your own. Uh, right, let's have a go at starting this, what she's like. Getting right in, it's just skipping across the top. So I'll probably have to keep going back to the boards over it quite a few times. So I'll break the saw up and then I can just, just let it run through, but in a minute I'm just trying to hold it back. So I'll crack on and I'll see you in a minute. Wow, what a forearm workout that is. I think by the time I've done all this, I'll have forearms like Popeye. I'm sure I will. Um, right, I'm being injured. I'm being hindered as I suspected I would be, because uh, obviously the previous allotment holder holders uh, were very keen on um, making lots and lots of pathways and putting polythene down. And uh, since it's been neglected, there's been a lot of soil build up, 
and grass is growing on the top so you've got a clue where the polythene is so if we have a look here so I sort of went where you could sort of see where the, the, the bed was originally uh, so I've gone down there come up three times and then on the fourth time I've hit the dreaded uh, where is it it's down here somewhere the dreaded polythene under there again you hear it there it is Look. and uh, it's basically that wide because here it is up here so um yeah I've got all that amount of topsoil to come off and then lift the polythene to turn that into a bed um, the main thing is, is that that center bit is going to be weed free for a while because obviously all I'm doing is just um, <laughs> just spreading more weed here but we knew that was going to be the um, be the trouble and it's going to be a good good two years probably maybe more of just keeping on top of this plot and um, picking them up as they come the weeds and the the bind weed and whatever. Uh, also, that I come across um, a couple of these. The uh, the old rotavator come to a dead stop when it hit that. But, um, rather, rather it come to a dead stop than lift it up and throw it into my shins. Yeah, because obviously our our other plot, you know, is um, pretty much weed free anyway. Uh, hence the reason why we then took on this one uh, for the simple fact that you know they. You know, apart from just growing on here, there wasn't a, 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 a lot, lot to maintain. And um, me being me, got a little bit bored. Am I regretting it now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd be good. Because uh, I know that there's more polythene under here. So I think it's just going to be a case of um, just rotivating. Uh, mark out where I think the polythene is get, get as much as I can do because there's more polythene there there, ground sheet uh, so that's obviously going to be another path and I should imagine the bed goes to there so I'll probably dig that in so what he's had is he's had two small beds but I want to make that all one big bed there and just keep running the rotavator up and down it but what I really essentially want to do is um, do the whole lot and then just try and start pulling topsoil back and uh, rotivate it again, drop it down a little bit steeper so we can get rid of this, um, rid of a bit of an angle. Yeah, so uh, it still beats digging with a spade though, I must admit. Because if I'd have done that by spade, that would have, I would have still been there now. Oh, that took, took five minutes. Uh, obviously the toins are, are bogging up, but yeah, oh yeah, you see my rake. <laughs> I need a new rake. I'm worried I might go hungry tonight. I, I think I've lost the ability to use my hands, I won't be able to the night before. <laughs> That's some hard work. Right, let's have a look. What we've done. So, uh, I pulled that polythene up as much as I can. I can't roll it any more than there because there's a, there's a load of soil on it. So, um, I'll come up and do that tomorrow. I'll find out where she wants to put her, her twig farm and uh, empty the wheelbarrow and roll that and just um, barrow that across to the compost heap but yeah that's uh, as big as what that is because obviously there's more polythene there and I've had it on this side and on this side I found loads of potatoes but really really hard the soil was really compact so it's definitely not been um, used for some time uh, but yeah you can see the, the amount of soil on there and loads and loads of, uh, of slabs I've been pulling out and just throwing all over there who said allotment tearing was easy 
all respect to you women out there that do this. But, uh, after a couple of weeks off, um, I think that's me done. That's as much as I can do today. I want to be able to drive home. I'm, I'm afraid I've lost the, my grippiness in my hands and my fingers. What a big kid I am. Uh, I'm going to have to try and find a bit of perspex or something to fix that. So I'll be up here tomorrow to do that. So, oh, I've got a bit of glass down there. Where's that come from? Okay. Okay. Oh, look, tomatoes still. Getting a bit black, I should, uh, should throw them. Right, so, um... Yeah, I showed you the shed, didn't I? How's that still standing? So, uh, until the next vid, um... Uh, Happy New Year to you all, and uh, May 2018 be a, a great year for growing. This, this is our first year of garlic. So, uh, until the next vid, I'll probably uh, be up with the camera tomorrow and show a little bit more. So, um, until then, see you later. Happy days.